Thanks, Ron, and um, thanks for inviting us to uh, Sligo today. Um, so I'm Jeremy Rudolph. I am a strategic partner manager here at Sligo. A little bit about me. I've been in Silicon Valley software for a little over the last decade, designing, developing, deploying, and operationalizing SaaS and cloud architecture solutions for SMBs, mid-markets, and enterprise. So um, <clears throat> I've worked with many of the uh, previous solutions that have presented today. Um, and um, I'm going to provide you with a little bit of thought leadership around our uh, our industry, or as what we call IPaaS, or Integration Platform as a Service, and then we'll go into what uh, what Soligo is and, and and how we can provide value. So, <clears throat> just at a very high level, what we're noticing, kind of in the market right now. Um, that it's not it's no longer enough to execute on on digital transformation companies are actually rocketing into growth and and in turning themselves into what we're now calling the digital enterprise um, we're seeing this uh, all over the board obviously COVID has amplified this uh, effect with uh, businesses having to go online. As Ruth had mentioned, some manufacturing companies are becoming distributors, some distributors are becoming manufacturers. There's a lot of acceleration right now for transformation. Um, so what does that look like and what does that mean? It's basically going from the airplane to the rocket. So fully automating business processes based on best practices, um, federated delivery and management of automation to the business unit. So what does that look like? It's not solely depending or, or relying on IT anymore, but putting the power in the hands of the business users and having that same uh, processor platform for integration across your entire business as it relates to automation. And then adopting an enterprise-wide automation platform for reliability um, and obviously scalability, which I, I've seen that touched upon in a few of the presentations today. Um, so this is a McKinsey report uh, that where you know the, the where we see where we've seen the most successful companies have been transforming to these digital enterprises. Um, Eighty percent of executives have where they have been through these transformations have resulted in increased prof profitability. Excuse me. Um, Eighty-five percent have reported uh, increased market share, and thirty percent have seen an increase, uh, a pretty significant significant lift in customer satisfaction. So <clears throat> fragmentation is expensive. Um, many businesses that we work with or come to us are fragmented, um, and, and we do see that quite a bit. Obviously, I think that's why we're all here today. Um, <clears throat> there's a serious lack of visibility into data, not having the data in place where it's actionable, data integrity so maybe you have some data but it's not um <clears throat> it's not in the right place somebody needs to put it in manually it's incomplete or there's errors in your data efficiency is lacking so um <clears throat> you need to hire more people just to keep things moving or one of the biggest things we see is the lack of agility so there's there's a lot of companies that are stuck in within inflexible processes um, they're operating in silos uh, within spreadsheets cross de departmentally or even within their own departments and they, and they get the intelligence that they need to make a decision but they can't move quickly enough to action on it so obviously that all impacts scalability and growth which which leads to the problems that none of us will want so this is kind of where Soligo comes in we're as I mentioned we're we're what's called an IPaaS or integration platform as a service. We allow businesses to integrate any application across the value chain. So whether you see a logo on here or not, to us it doesn't really matter. As long as there's a way to connect to that particular application, whether it's via API, EDI, um, uh, HTTPS, um, et cetera, it can be done through our platform. There's uh, extremely high ratings on our platform from individual users themselves so we're we're the highest ipass rated on the g2 um the only one i think that's higher is zapier um, which is a point-to-point -point connector which is quite a bit different than than what we offer from a platform security compliance and governance perspective 
Um, and then in terms of uh, just being rated, Gar we're, we're one of the highest rated IPaaS systems on Gartner Peer Insights and Captera as well, which is rated by our partners. <clears throat> just a quick glance at who some of our clients are. We have at Saligo over 4,000 NetSuite customers across all different shapes, sizes of companies and different verticals. Um, we, we really help those companies take their business and adopt the best of breed applications and um, products and help them integrate those into their businesses. So just a quick differentiator with um, the other partners that have presented today, they have pre-built products into NetSuite. We don't recommend you go off of those and use us. We'd rather you use their products that are pre-built fully integrated and then if there's a business process above and beyond that you need that maybe one of those products doesn't support you can certainly integrate that into those applications and i can show you some of what's included in our marketplace as well as well as many other applications that are not sdn partners of netsuite so where we're different our product is very powerful and is extremely easy to use. We have comprehensive integration capabilities and not only power for developers to build complex integrations, but also we put the power in the hands of the line of business user, as I mentioned before, so, you, so you're not spending money on your most expensive resources to come in and, <clears throat> and go and, and uh, build the processes or integrations that need to be built within your business. Additionally, I call it proactive versus reactive um, management. We have robust error monitoring and management tools to so basically be able to come in and um, actively manage if something goes down with a click of a button uh, versus having to spend hours and hours with your most expensive resources trying to figure out root cause analysis and where issues may lie as it relates to integration. So this is kind of a typical uh, landscape that we see. A business will start out with maybe a storefront and fulfillment, and this is an e-commerce example here, but you could really relate it to any business. The business will institute or implement NetSuite, and simultaneously what will continue to happen is their business will continue to grow. So they will <clears throat> implement maybe you know a few payment gateways, returns management solution, marketing automation, different marketplaces, and when clients come to us, what they're trying to do is take the top 20% of applications that are causing 80% of the issues within their business and integrate those first. Then it's essentially a rinse and repeat cycle. Some will choose to do it all at once. Some will choose it to kind of run different projects at different times and run through a phased approach and essentially build what we call at Saligo an integration roadmap across their entire business for their systems as it relates to NetSuite. So this is just a quick example of uh, connected, uh, the connected retail overview. Um, in addition to being an iPass, we are also what, uh, what others have mentioned, we are an SDM partner as well. So we have applications that are off the shelf, ready to go 90 to 80 to 90% there um, for Shopify, Amazon, Walmart, eBay, a few others as well that are directly and fully integrated inside to NetSuite. Additionally, the reason I say 80 to 90% is because if you have 10 to 20% that you want to automate um, that cannot <clears throat> be done through our application, it's not a problem. So you can go in and build a custom flow through our platform, which is a very simple process, and you can very easily go in and connect it. So the way that I explain this diagram in general is NetSuite is your source of truth or is what is typically defined as the source of truth for your business. And then we sit around NetSuite in that circle as what we call your integration source of truth. So anything that sits outside of NetSuite that's not natively built inside of it, we can help you integrate and effectively have a solution for your integration to proactively manage and monitor that particular integration. Very similar here, we have um, connected services and software, um, depending on what vertical business industry you sit in, um, with other integration applications as well. So Salesforce, Zendesk, for example, 
We also have um, AP and AR applications from a banking perspective that you can also um, build into NetSuite. Um, and we're integrated from, again, an SDN perspective as well there. So very simple, easy to use products. Um, so just very quickly, I'm gonna walk into our platform um, and show just our marketplace of connectivity. You can see here, Avalara is on here. There's quite a few SAP Concur, whoops, uh, dot digital, I clicked on that one on accident. Um, but essentially you can see all the different types of integrations that um, we have across the board. Again, you're not limited to any of these um, integrations in particular, um, but you can very easily go in here and for example, we have again, those integration applications for let's say Amazon Big Commerce, those, that uh, SDN product again, which is an integration app here for banking, which is an AR product. Um, and then additionally, outside of pre-built off the shelf products we offer, we also offer templates. So just scroll down here a little bit more. Um, so if you wanted to integrate ADP, for example, Workforce Now, or um, let's say you wanted to run Amazon Vendor Central through an FTP site, you could very easily do that. If you're running a sauna within your business, we have a template here where we have pre-built flows to automate project tasks to Asana tasks from NetSuite to Asana and then um, projects to Asana projects. So very, uh, very simple and easy to go in and quickly build out the business process that you're looking to build out. Additionally, what we offer in our platform is a full suite of courses and learnings for our university. So essentially you can come in here, you can actually get certified on Integrator IO, which is our iPaaS platform. And then if you're looking to get training on a particular integration application, you can come in here as well and get that specific training for that application. So we put the, we put the power in the hands of the user to come in here and do this. Additionally, we offer services um, to, to help you get up to speed as well, if that's something that's needed or required and there's a whole content library here where you can go in and learn about pretty much anything you want as it relates to integration um, in general. We can see a ton of stuff on Amazon here in NetSuite if, you know, if, if you're using Amazon today. So at a very high level, that's, um, that's the university. And then if we look uh, inside of the application, what I call it is that it's kind of that proactive approach versus the reactive approach I was talking about before where you're able to see what I call red light, green light system, where if you have success um, across uh, in, in integration, so let's say like, for example, this is an ADP integration or we have uh, charge beat and NetSuite integration, we can very quickly and easily see here that I have an error on this particular tile. So I can go in and I can actually drill down into that error and very quickly see, okay, based on the, the business processes that I have set up between these two applications, where is that error occurring? It's very, I'm very quickly, easily able to spot that it's occurring between my invoices from Chargebee to NetSuite. I can go in and actually look at um, across that flow where it's happening. So which system is, is throwing out that error um, oh, it's on the import for NetSuite for invoices within NetSuite. And I can go into that error and I can see what that particular error is. Failed to save record because there's no tax code that was entered for that particular um, uh, field. So if you want to get a little bit more technical, you can very quickly go in and actually resolve it. So I could go in and I can look into the data code and I could go look at the, you know, the, the um, tax uh, amount here at zero dollars um, and I could go fix that resolve it save it move on and it'll push it'll actually push that through without having to involve any of your developers um, to go back into that so at a very high level that's when I say proactive versus reactive that's what I'm talking about and not having to use your most expensive resources to go in and make changes across um, your your uh, across your integrations. 
So again, putting the power back into the hands of the user. Um, and then here's some of the typical business processes that we see folks automating. So everything from demand planning to returns management to procure to pay, quote to cash, order to cash, um, customer 360. So what are so basically what we do is we go through a, a roadmap and analysis with uh, with the client and we'll look at what are their business objectives for the next 12 to 24 months. We'll understand what business processes are related to those objectives and then we'll talk about what systems are related to those business processes and we'll start to build out a phase plan with the, with our clients to figure out what their roadmap looks like, specifically tailored and fine-tuned to their business. Um, so just a few examples of some ROI achieved for some companies on our platform, Zoom Info. Um, I'm sure some of you may actually use that product. In their order to cash process, they were struggling to move orders between Salesforce and NetSuite. Um, once they came on to Celigo, they were actually automated. They, were, they started to automate them, their transactions and it prevented them to ha from having to hire five more full-time employees. Um, another another example here is with AFG Distribution. They moved from a legacy ERP to NetSuite and needed to connect over seven storefronts. They were able to get 15 to 30% quarter-on-quarter quarter quarter growth across those stores while only requiring 10 minutes per day to manage those orders. Um, and then StrongPoint, uh, another one, Thousands and thousands of leads per day were manually being imported into their CRM from all sorts of different uh, sources. A lot of the responses from those leads were not actually getting followed up on. Um, it took them two days to go from zero to full deployment with no training or technical resources. And obviously there was huge ROI that came out of that. Um, so that's just a quick set of um, ROI metrics and um, let's see, I think that is all I'm gonna go with for today.